The advanced manufacturing program really grew out of the passion of my dad, Chip Shero. After leaving NASA, he helped found the program out of the desire to train students on the latest technology within the manufacturing industry. I lost my leg when I was seven to a lawnmower, and I've been struggling with having a prosthetic leg ever since. I got interested in advanced manufacturing as a way to improve prosthetics. The program is unique because it provides students with hands-on training in every part of the manufacturing process from design to production and optimization. The entire industry became really excited about the program. Companies are partnering with the university to provide technology, internships, and other resources. The advanced manufacturing program lets me learn everything I need in a single degree, from design software to 3D printing and manufacturing techniques. Here, I'm able to get hands-on experience to become a leader in the advanced manufacturing industry. Here, I'm able to work on developing the next generation of prosthetics. I am part of the UPMC Shadyside School of Nursing. I love making people feel better, and I just like to be a part of something good. This program ended up coming out. I took a leap of faith. I went and I really loved it. To know what brought this patient to the hospital. I saw a crisis situation at a young age. I knew then and there that I didn't want to be a bystander. I wanted to take action. This is a 16 month program. It's not stopping for anything. Perfusion, oxygenation, the heart, the brain. We learn everything there is to know about nursing. When we're doing our lab at the towers, it's a lot of hands-on work. They do have all of the things that they would have in a hospital, the mannequins, the equipment. We can do those procedures here in the tower so that we can feel confident going in front of a patient. You're with an instructor and other students working directly with patients. We are able to insert Foley's and G-tubes, do all the vitals. We focus on safe practices, patient advocacy. Companies that we're starting to partner with, new facilities, it's really going to open up the university to a variety of projects. Having access to this facility, I'm able to get practical experience in the industry and pursue my dreams and career goals. It's helpful to have everything in one building. You get the experience of what you need to do. You feel confident before going in front of a patient. This tower has provided a lot of opportunities. I have laboratory settings, lecture halls, to come here and work with the instructors and further my nursing education. Well, good evening, and thank you all very much for coming. My name is Mark Single, and I serve as the chairman of the Board of Trustees of Harrisburg University. Welcome to the official opening of the UPMC Health Sciences Tower at Harrisburg University. I am uh, excited to see all of you here to celebrate this very momentous occasion. Tonight really is about celebrating success, thanking our partners, and sharing this exciting accomplishment with, with all of you. To our Board of Trustees, the President's Cabinet, HU faculty and staff, donors, UPMC, industry health science partners, and community leaders who are here, uh, thank you very much for everything that you've done to help bring this uh, miracle to fruition. At this time, I would like to take a moment to recognize a few important organizations that have gone above and beyond to ensure that tonight would be possible. First and foremost, UPMC and UPMC Pinnacle Foundation. Thank you for partnering with us on this incredible journey. Additionally, a heartfelt thank you to several individual donors and companies who have named spaces throughout this building already. The first floor lobby was donated by Greg and Val Gunn with Gunn Mowry. I suppose we should applaud when we recognize our donors. <clears throat> the third street lobby was donated by McNeese, Wallace, and Urich. Uh, 
Luke and Susan Kemsky with JPL donated the third floor digital media center. And fellow trustee Rick and his wife Sue Seitz named an exam room in the fourth floor health innovation and training center. Rick and Susan, thank you very much. Your dedication and continued generosity have had an incredible impact on our university, the students, and the community. So you're going to see uh, this incredible structure and all of the individual floors where the magic happens in just a minute. But before we do that, we have a couple of remarks from some very special people, the first of uh, which will be coming from the president of Harrisburg University, Dr. Eric Dar. Thank you, Mark, and thank you to everybody that's joining us here tonight. Uh, I remarked that uh, for those that may have been around uh, our building at 326 Market, uh, we had a similar building dedication in an uh, unfinished space. Uh, so this is uh, a space where we can support everybody that came to join us tonight, which is fantastic, but in some ways it's a throwback to uh, many years ago uh, in the building in 326. I won't ask for a show of hands who was here all those years ago, but, uh, but uh, it, it, for me, brings back a great number of memories about the, some of the humble beginnings of the university. So we have the great fortune, as Mark said, uh, to share this beautiful facility with UPMC um, and to, in some sense, jointly uh, chart the future of what happens here in the city, in the region, beyond with regard to healthcare and healthcare education. And I couldn't think of a better partner to have, so I too would like to recognize and thank all of our great friends at UPMC uh, for their um, diving in with, uh, with uh, both feet uh, and a hand uh, and some other body parts as well. So uh, it, it's been terrific. Um, some of you have heard me comment, but we think about from Derry Township to Dubai in the UAE, we are impacting student lives with our programs, our incredible faculty, our dedicated partners, and this is a demonstration that it also includes our world-class facilities as well. Uh, and we couldn't be more pleased about that continued expansion. Um, you saw in the video that we pride ourselves in a cornerstone of the founding of the university was experiential work, hands-on work, the ability to work with the exact machines that you'll work with in your careers. So we started our manufacturing program with tabletop size um, machines because we did not have the space in the existing building at 326. You'll see later on during the tours, we've grown a bit. So these are life-size machines, uh, the kind of world-class machines uh, that you won't find at other institutions of higher education. You'll find perhaps in the leading manufacturers around the world, and our students get to have hands-on work with those machines. Um, the tower, as again the, the video alluded to, is not just about the growth of the academic programs, um, but it is also supports community outreach and the integration of partners, whether that's in healthcare or manufacturing. Or the third piece of the um, activities here in the tower that I think you'll hear much more about over the years, which is interactive media and the role of AI in both manufacturing and in healthcare. And we're excited and thrilled about that. Um, You'll see or hear later, uh, UPMC, as I said, uh, our great partner. They all occupy multiple floors in the building. You'll hear a bit later about what, what goes on. And on the tours, you also see for yourself. But again, we couldn't think of a, a better partner to share the building with, um, with regard to our space. One of the pieces that you'll see on the tour, that's not quite a finished product yet, 
but just keep in mind that in a short year and a half, we will have launched a, a doctor of physical therapy, a DPT program that will also be housed here in this building and this, these facilities. So we're excited about what that means for the region and for another great need from a workforce perspective. Um, one of the most exciting aspects of the building, and I'm not sure, no, I'm pretty sure, we didn't plan this from the very beginning, is the very great interest in what I'll call health industry partners, some of the leading technology vendors in the world in putting in place simulation and and professional development on the scale and the kind that you will not find perhaps anywhere else in the world. And some of those companies are Boston Scientific, Abbott, Medtronics, GE, just to name a few, name drop. So those companies will invest in this facility and to create simulation labs, education and training labs for professionals in our region in a, to get training on equipment that can only benefit us as citizens of this part of the world. Thrilled about what that means for us here at the university, but also for, for us here in central Pennsylvania. The dedication today, as Mark said, is the culmination of years and years of work uh, by many in the community, and the region and beyond, um, we, you don't do this uh, by ourselves. This is not something that just happens overnight, and it's not the result of one person or one organization. And so I want to thank those of you that have been part of the journey with us through the years, through the pandemic, because this project, the building, really started as, a, as a, um, an idea years before the pandemic to build an asset, an educational asset, that would change our lives and the way workforce development gets done in this part of the world. And, and here we are tonight. So before I um, leave the stage, I want to thank uh, two organizations and the representatives that are here. We wouldn't be here uh, tonight without them. Um, Whiting Turner, our construction manager, Kale Christensen, Patrick Judd, who are here with us tonight from Whiting Turner. Um, they managed uh, an, an incredibly complex project uh, and on time, on budget, in a world where those two things never happened in a, in a construction project of this scale and this magnitude. So my hat's off to them. And then also to Stantec, uh, our designer for this building, he designed the building at 326 as well. Alex Wing uh, is with us tonight, and I'd like to thank Alex for his many, many contributions to the universities, to the university through a lot of years. So with that, I thank you. Enjoy the evening. Enjoy the tours. Before I depart, I do quickly want to read a letter that was sent to me by uh, a graduate of Harrisburg University. Uh, he happens to be uh, Tim DeFore, the Auditor General of the State of Pennsylvania. Um, he could not be with us tonight. He says uh, very quickly, I regret I cannot be with you today to celebrate the opening of the UPMC Health Services Tower at Harrisburg University. As a proud alumnus of HU, I congratulate you all for creating a hub to foster the next generation of healthcare workers. The investment in our community helps make the Harrisburg region and the entire Commonwealth stronger. The education provided here will help save lives, create economic opportunities, and improve the overall health of everyone who lives and works here. I congratulate you warmly, Tim DeFore. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you very much. This is probably the most exciting development that I've been a part of here at UPMC. This really expands us as a world-class educational institution in central Pennsylvania. We have a nursing program that's starting. This type of education and this type of nursing school gives us a leg up, if you will, on all our other healthcare institutions in the area. 
We have a burgeoning cardiology fellowship program. We're gonna have an array of research opportunities for our cardiovascular fellows that wouldn't have existed without this health sciences tower. There are so many classrooms and rooms that I didn't even know existed in this place. My role here is to think about how to utilize Harrisburg University for the growth and development of our general surgery residents. We have a Da Vinci robot for the residents to use. I wanna utilize that more, bring it over here, bring in the laparoscopic skills, make 3D models just to provide things that are in a completely different echelon for these residents' education. And we have a duty to the public to provide really, really good nurses and surgeons and physicians alike. And to invest in the development of our physicians and nurses, it shows that UPMC not only cares about tomorrow or next month, but also years to come. Some of the things we're looking at is creating trauma bays or operating rooms in a virtual environment. And how do people interact in those environments? How do we test equipment in those environments? Here we're being able to bring our lab, work with researchers here, bring funding in, potentially partner with some companies to look at how can we create a, a virtual reality human performance lab. That's our future. So it really is not just education training, but it's also innovation opportunity and growth. And so those things together come together for this UPMC and Harrisburg University relationship. What the Health Sciences Tower houses within it is just miraculous. This is literally two blocks away from UPMC Central Pennsylvania's hub, which is UPMC Harrisburg. This facility offers us a lab, if you will, to develop new um, and innovative technologies that are gonna lead to revolutionary patient care, not just here in Central Pennsylvania, but all across the country and maybe even around the world. Well, it's really wonderful to hear the stories of uh, so many physicians. And it's also great to see so many physicians and medical professionals here with us tonight. Can I get all of the physicians and nurses and nursing students who are in the audience to stand, please? There you are. These are the pioneers. These are the folks who are uh, beginning this journey with us, and we're delighted to have you in this building. We all know uh, firsthand how important healthcare is to a region. Having UPMC continue to invest in keeping world-class medical professionals in central Pennsylvania is key to the health and development of our region. At this time, I would like to welcome to the stage uh, the president of UPMC in Central Pennsylvania, Dr. Jason Marks. Good evening, everybody. I'm Jason Marks, and uh, I'm president of the Physician Services for UPMC in Central, in Central PA. And on behalf of our entire team, I thank you for joining us here tonight. As you just heard from three of our physician leaders, there's so much to celebrate and to be excited about when it comes to the new UPMC Health Services Tower at Harrisburg University. From the new and already growing UPMC Shadyside School of Nursing at UPMC Harrisburg, to the spaces for physician research and collaboration, to the training opportunities for health science students of many disciplines, this building is the physical embodiment of the investment Harrisburg University and UPMC are making in the future of healthcare. A strong education is the foundation on which students build their careers, and in healthcare, we never stop learning. That's why spaces like this are so important. Not only do the innovative labs, advanced equipment, and classrooms support our college students as they develop the knowledge and skills, but they provide opportunities for research and for professional growth for those who are already practicing in the health professions. These collaborations open opportunities for Harrisburg University students to apply their skills in 3D printing and other technologies to real world applications. I echo what you've heard from the other presenters tonight. UPMC's partnership with Harrisburg University is changing the landscape for healthcare. It's creating a new pipeline for nursing, providing new opportunities for innovation, offering space for growing programs, 
and achieving collaboration between students, faculty, and healthcare professionals that are unique to our institutions. As I take a step back, this is where the new generation of healthcare heroes is going to be created. Think about the School of Nursing. There are nursing students who are going to be trained here, and in a few months, in a year, two years, they're going to be working in the hospitals, and they're going to save someone's life. Think about the collaboration between faculty and physician clinical researchers working together to create new technology. These healthcare heroes in this new technology are going to save people's lives. Think about the Harrisburg University students who are going to be inspired to become researchers and to go join the healthcare professions. They're going to save people's lives. This tower is going to create the new generation of healthcare heroes. And for that, we thank the partnership with Harrisburg University and UPMC, and we're excited to, to, to join forces and create those new healthcare heroes. So thank you very much. We thank you for your support of the Health Sciences Tower, and the future of healthcare in our community starts here. Thank you, Dr. Marks. UPMC physicians are already and will continue to play major roles in the UPMC Health Sciences Tower at Harrisburg University. Looking forward to seeing that on the side of the building. It is exciting to have a strong advocate and leader who understands and promotes that partnership, so I thank you again for all of that you do. The generous investment from UPMC is from the hospital and also from the UPMC Pinnacle Foundation. So would you please join me in welcoming the chairman of the board of the UPMC Pinnacle Foundation, Robin Zellers. Thank you, Chairman Single. I'm Robin Zellers and I'm chair of the board of the UPMC Pinnacle Foundation. About three years ago, our, our board updated our strategic plan to outline our top funding priorities for fundraising and funding throughout the community. To provide support for our workforce rose right to the top. To attract, train, retrain, and retain the best and brightest talent at UPMC and throughout central Pennsylvania. When the opportunity to support UPMC Shadyside School of Nursing at UPMC Harrisburg was presented to our board leadership, it seemed as if it was ready-made for the foundation to take an active role in making it come to fruition. The UPMC School of Nursing Gift is one of the largest investments ever made by the foundation in our community, and it truly is a community investment. The UPMC School of Nursing will not only have a massive impact at UPMC and Central PA, nurses and the patients they care for, but it also creates a new pipeline for nursing across our region and will have a positive impact throughout the city of Harrisburg and our entire greater Pennsylvania, central Pennsylvania region. So we're really thrilled to have partnered with UPMC and Central PA and Harrisburg University to financially support the UPMC Shadyside School of Nursing at UPMC Harrisburg, and like others, I can't wait to see that on the building. We're pleased to work with area donors both corporate and individual, to support the outfitting of the learning spaces in the new UPMC Health Sciences Tower at Harrisburg University. I want to thank you all for your generosity and unwavering support on behalf of the Foundation Board. Thank you. Next, we will hear from Penny Lennox Zerby, the director of the UPMC Shadyside School of Nursing at Harrisburg, UPMC. Good evening. We are thrilled to partner with UPMC Central PA and Harrisburg University. I'm Penny Lane Serby, the director of UPMC Shadyside School of Nursing here in Harrisburg. We are just over two weeks into our second class. Um, it's hard to believe that we're here already. 
We started with 194 students in our second class. This is the largest class of the entire UPMC Schools of Nursing. The incredible growth. Oh. The incredible growth in just one year is a testament of the incredible need for nurses in this region. We have students of all ages, some students who just came out of high school, some who have had other degrees. This is their second career. They come from all walks of life, but they've all decided to invest their time and talent and resources to train as nurses and provide care for our community. We are honored that they have chosen our program to pursue their dreams of becoming nurses. In addition to the excitement, we also have our senior class. I finally get to say we have a senior class. We have 42 seniors who will be graduating in December. These students, along with my faculty, took a leap of faith. We started in a closet in, Brady, in the Brady Building, and now we're going to be a world-class nursing school. These students, uh, they'll be celebrating their graduation because they are going to be amazing nurses in just a few short weeks. And I will tell you, if you are a patient and you have one of my students as your nurse, you are in very good hands. And I, and I just need to say one more thing. My, oh, my faculty and staff and students, please stand up. I need to recognize you, and everyone here needs to recognize you because they're amazing. Mom, those freshman students need to stand up too. We're a family, and, and this nursing school definitely wants this tool, the school to succeed as well as the students. Also, in the, in the senior class, nearly a quarter of them have already committed to UPMC. And this semester, we will host professional development seminars and job interview opportunities, and we look forward to even more of our students joining the UPMC team. In addition to our seniors and our freshman class, we also have a, a class of 20 juniors who will complete their studies in the spring. I am thankful that we have a partnership with Harrisburg University for the collaboration with our faculty, colleagues, and for the support of the administration and staff of our beautiful spaces at Strawberry Square and here at UPMC Health Science Towers at Harrisburg University. From our high-tech classrooms to our realistic simulation labs, students have the tools they need to succeed in their clinical rotations and beyond. Of, our, of course, our students would not be successful without the dedication and knowledge of our exceptional faculty and staff and team that has also grown to almost 30 people. I am so proud of the culture and excellence we've built in such a short time. Our educators have set high expectations for our students, and they've also set high expectations for themselves while understanding the importance of a supportive, inclusive atmosphere. I always say UPMC Shadyside School of Nursing at Harrisburg is going to be a nursing dynasty, and we're building it now. Thank you. Thank you very much, Penny. It's always inspiring to hear our students are living out HU's mission every day. After all, it is all about the students. And we are fortunate here this evening to have one of our students, Ms. Nadia Stuckey, uh, who is a senior in our advanced manufacturing program. She's here to talk to you a little bit about her experience at HU. Nadia? Hello, my name is Nadia Stuckey, and I am a senior in the Advanced Manufacturing Program here at Harrisburg University. I am originally from Baltimore, Maryland, but attended York County School of Technology for Engineering and Advanced Manufacturing. During high school is where I fell in love with advanced manufacturing. However, what drew me to HU was accessibility. I am the first high school graduate in my family, so being able to attend an affordable university and be provided with a safe space to learn and grow means more to me than I can express. 
to attend a university that has people that listen and try their very best to help you with any problems you have from resumes or portfolios to networking or job hunting to being successful in the classroom is nothing short of amazing. Being a first-generation student, financial assistance was a major priority when looking for colleges. I was unable to receive any assistance from my family. However, being awarded a merit-based scholarship from HU was incredibly re rewarding. As I begin my senior year and look back at my time here at HU, the professors continue to stand out. Dr. Pitt's classes were one of the most challenging courses I have ever taken at Harrisburg University. But with that, I have now grown to appreciate the difficulty of the courses and the material learned. Dr. Pitts pushes his students to be the best that they can be, and I'll always appreciate him for that. One of my favorite aspects of HU is that all students are required to complete an internship during their undergraduate tenure. This past semester, I interned as a process engineer at Case, an advanced electronics company that works in the defense and aerospace industry. There I was given the opportunity to grow and network while also applying what I had learned at HU to real systems and manufacturing processes. I want to personally thank all of you for your continued support of Harrisburg University and I look forward to graduating and taking time to see the world. Thank you and have a good evening. Thank you, Nadia. It's inspirational, and it really is an honor to be on the same dais with you. You're already making the world a better place, so thank you very much. The, um, I wanted to take a, a moment. In addition to the extraordinary support that we've received from the entire community and from uh, professionals uh, and community leaders uh, and our funders and uh, our partners. We've had the, uh, the great fortune of having support from the state and the county and the local level as well. So uh, folks who may be here still from the mayor's office, from the county government and from our state legislature just know that we appreciate all of your efforts. and. Uh, Commissioner George Hartwick uh, was with us a few minutes ago uh, and uh, has given me the honor of reading the proclamation from Dauphin County, and I'll just read it in part. Uh, we, the Dauphin County Board of Commissioners, are pleased to celebrate the official opening of the UPMC Health Services Tower, Sciences Tower at Harrisburg University. We join the 286,000 residents of Dauphin County in congratulating Harrisburg University of Science and Technology on the UPMC Health Sciences Towers official opening. We do hereby proudly proclaim September 13, 2023 to be UPMC Health Sciences Tower at Harrisburg University Day at, in Dauphin County. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our own day. Well, we have one more important task to accomplish. Let's officially cut the ribbon for this building. Will President Dar, CFO Dwayne Mon, Dr. Marks, Robin Zellers, Jessica Ritchie, Penny, Nadia, please come forward and hold this ribbon, please.
Those are some serious scissors. You should see some of the clinics. Well, we would allow, uh, again, thank you all for making time out to join us on this auspicious occasion. And we want to invite you to see what this building looks like and to envision the kind of activities that are going to take place throughout this building on a day-to-day -day basis. There are several professors, program heads, uh, advanced st uh, staff members, staff volunteers, and students <clears throat> who are spread throughout the building. So mostly through, uh, through floors two and seven, it's gonna be like a progressive dinner. There are uh, libations and bites to eat on every floor, but don't miss the opportunity to, to take note of the truly world-class construction that this uh, building boasts. So thank you again for being here. Enjoy the rest of your evening. We'll be around to socialize with you. Thank you all very much.